So there's been some big news when it comes to coronavirus testing. Recently, Abbott Laboratories came out with a new rapid antigen test called Binex Now, and it got emergency approval from the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. Now, an emergency use authorization by the FDA is permission given to unapproved products to be used in an emergency to diagnose, treat, or prevent serious or life-threatening conditions. The test costs $5 and detects COVID-19 infection in 15 minutes. But before I deep dive further into this Buy Next Now test, let's understand a little more about how diagnostic testing works. Every test in medicine, when looking to detect a disease, has a certain accuracy. It doesn't matter if it's a CT scan looking for a clot in the lung or an EKG looking for a heart attack. There's a certain accuracy for each of these, and this applies to coronavirus testing as well. By accuracy, I mean a certain sensitivity and a certain specificity. Sensitivity is how well the test recognizes the disease. A test that has 100% sensitivity has a perfect ability to detect that disease. But in reality, there's no test that's ever 100% sensitive. The closer a test is to 100% sensitivity, the lower the likelihood of having a false negative. A false negative is when someone truly has the disease, but the test comes back negative. But sometimes tests will come back positive, even though the person doesn't truly have the disease. This is called a false positive. So if a test is 100% specific, that means there's a zero chance that there can be a false positive. So the closer the test is to 100% specificity, that means there's a lower likelihood of having a false positive. Ideally, we want 100% sensitivity and specificity, but in reality, no test is ever that. With COVID-19, the disease caused by SARS coronavirus 2, people wanna know if they have the disease or have recently had the disease. There are different types of tests, and different techniques for all these different types of tests and different manufacturers for all the various tests. So some are FDA approved while others are not. And you have all sorts of people who wanna make money selling these tests, but the tests are not necessarily accurate. So testing is pretty complicated. Now I wanna keep this video short and to the point so I won't bog you down with all the details of that. This new Binax Now rapid antigen test made by Abbott Laboratories it uses a nasal swab in the same manner as a rapid flu test. Now, unlike most of the other nasal swabs used to test COVID, this one doesn't have to be jammed all the way up in there, and those are pretty painful. The Binax Now test is a specially coated strip that interacts with SARS-CoV-2 antigens. After you get a sample from your nose, you insert the tip of the swab into the card. You'll come across two holes here, and don't worry, it comes with instructions. Then you add a few drops of a chemical solution and voila, there are lines that appear on the card to indicate whether the sample is positive or negative, just like a pregnancy test. Now, according to Abbott, and this is listed on the FDA's website, the test has 97.1% sensitivity and 98.5% specificity. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. The way that they get these numbers is that these tests are compared to samples that tested positive with the PCR method and they then compare the results. Also, I should mention that the NIH does independent tests to verify the accuracy of coronavirus tests because it's hard to trust the company's own numbers. But these are the numbers that the company is claiming, and so far, there haven't been any independent tests that have been done. The FDA said in a statement that negative results with Abbott's test may need to be confirmed with a lab test in some cases. For example, if there's a high suspicion that someone has COVID based on their symptoms or based on their exposure. Also, I should add that even if a test is perfect, let's say 100% sensitivity and specificity, it's still possible to get a false negative, not because of the test itself. Sometimes it's due to the way the test is conducted, meaning poor technique is used. Some people can have the coronavirus in their lungs without necessarily having it in their nose. This was actually proven, and I did a video on this, in a study of patients who died of coronavirus. So nine out of the 12 patients had the virus in their lungs but did not have it in their nose, and they used PCR testing for this. So that's something else to keep in mind. Another aspect of this Buy Next Now test is that it'll come with a free mobile app called Navica, which will allow users that test negative to display the results as a digital health pass. This digital health pass would serve as a temporary date stamped result that is renewed each time a new test is taken. With the typical PCR tests that are done, the ones that are lab-based, you get excellent sensitivity, but they take time and at least a few hours or even longer to get results. Since the start of the pandemic, nasal swab tests that are sent to a lab have been standard for COVID-19 screening, 
While these PCR tests are considered the most accurate, they take at minimum a few hours before we get results. They're also expensive and require specialized machines and chemical reagents, and shortages of these supplies have led to delays in getting results, sometimes up to a few days. But with a new antigen test, we can quickly identify COVID infections and get them into quarantine. Plus, it's cheap and it's being mass produced. Abbott says that starting in October, they're going to ship 50 million tests a month. And following this announcement, the government said they'll be purchasing 150 million of these tests from the company. This will allow for massive testing, moving one step closer to getting this pandemic under control, especially when it comes to getting schools and businesses reopened, and especially with the fall and winter coming, which means cold and flu season. And with such an overlap of symptoms between the common cold, flu, and COVID, never mind allergies, this massive scale rapid testing will be all the more important. And with this test, along with the other three FDA-approved rapid antigen tests, they can't be done at home, as they're only allowed to be done by a healthcare professional. So basically, this means doctor's offices, emergency rooms, urgent care centers, pharmacies, drive throughs and some schools. The three other rapid antigen tests are made by Quidel, Becton Dickinson, and Lumira DX. Now, based on the information provided by the companies themselves, which the FDA's website also provides, the SOFIA antigen test made by Quidel is a more sensitive test compared to the BD antigen test. SOFIA antigen test correctly identifies 96.7% of samples compared to 83.9% for the BD. Both of these tests identified all the negatives. The Lumira DX has a 97.6% sensitivity. There are a few companies that are developing rapid at-home tests, but so far none have FDA approval. So that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. There's also some other COVID vaccine news with eight different potential vaccines coming down the pike and a lot to unpack with that. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified of when my next one comes out.